Hi guys, Danielle back, Danielle's Homemade Products, and it's been so long since I've freaking made soap that I figured I'd better, better make some. So I convinced Sky to let me make her some soaps for her Halloween party at school. So I've got these guys made, their skulls, I filled in the, the eyes with black, she did help me with that. And these look quite sloppy, but... You know, they're for kids, so I don't think they'll care. And these will be cut in half because they're way too big to put a whole one on top of a cupcake soap. So I'm going to cut them in half, and so I'll get 10 of those, plus uh, I think roughly about 25 um, skull ones. So she'll have plenty for her class, plus extras for friends. So today I am getting started on the bases for the cupcakes. I'm not quite sure how many um, bases I'll get out of a batch. So this is the first batch of what I am calculating to be a couple of batches that I'll need for the bases and a couple for the tops. Um, after I get this first batch going, I will know for sure if I need to make two or three batches for the bottoms. So this is going to be like basically a test run. I don't remember how many bases I got out of my last batch. Um, and I don't remember if I used a full batch or if I only used part of it. So... I know how many I got, obviously, but I don't know, I can't remember if I used um, a full batch or not. So, and the colors that we decided on, this is sky for you, um, I'm going to do the bases in black, they're going to be solid black, and then there's going to be, um, the, the frosting is going to be two colors, it's going to be orange and purple, so I'm going to do like two row if they're going to be high if I can work it out but I'm going to do two rows of purple excuse me two rows of orange and then the top of them in purple and um, the top little dollopy thingy in purple so I'm getting started with the black bases now so this is going to be a multi-part video I didn't know if I would get all the bases out of this I seriously doubt it but I am low on oils too so I have to go and get some uh, before I can finish all of them up anyway. So I'm going to get started on at least one set of the bases and go from there. So like I said, this will probably be a multi-part video and I'll just um, part it out as I get, you know, get the stuff accomplished. So um, I do have my, my, all of my oils in here, liquid and solid. I've, I went ahead and melted them. I've got my kaolin clay in here and I also am trying out a little bit of gold smoke powder to see how that works. Um, I do have aloe juice in my lye solution instead of water, and I did add tuss of silk and uh, sodium lactate. So, let's get started. <laughs> Figured I'd give that a little bit of a zhuzh to get the kaolin clay and goat's milk off the bottom. I am not left-handed. And I realize I'm probably blocking your view. I'm going to get some water in this jug. Stay. Luckily, I didn't have very far to go. And I don't think I mentioned it, but the fragrance that Sky chose is Strawberry Surplus from Brambleberry. A really nice fragrance. She, I only had a couple of them in stock that I had enough to do um, a full 36 cupcakes. So that was the one of the ones that she chose. Man, I hope that made sense. It's late. Sorry. As I had three cents in stock with enough of the fragrance to do the entire batch of cupcakes the same. I mean, I could have done multiple different scents, but I mean, come on now. I wasn't trying to work all that extra hard. I do not, however, know what this fragrance will do. Hopefully, nothing. And I used an old olive jar because it was glass. Go ahead and get that in. I 
a little speck in here. It's driving me nuts. It looks like a piece of grass. I don't know if I got it or not, to be honest. Alright, and let's get some black. I'm using Black's Oxide Pigment also from Brambleberry. which we know, for me, is very difficult. It smells really good, though. <laughs> Let's not push my luck and have that tip over on me. bubbles in here but you know what that's all right all right I'll be right back I'm gonna grab my molds It's not dirty, it's stained. I've got my liners in a cupcake bit tin just for stability purposes. I'm going to pour some of this off and I realize you can't see what I'm doing, so I'll apologize up front for that. And I almost spilled the whole thing. Ooh, wouldn't have been pretty. I wanted to pour it in just a smaller jug for ease of pouring. I figured putting them in a cupcake tin would just make my life easier when it goes to moving them. Because, like I said, I've got quite a few to do. I'm hoping I can get the majority of my bases out of this batch. That would be lovely, though I really don't think that'll happen. Smells really freaking good though, I can tell you that. Get off of there. I did get quite a few out of just the first amount that I poured off. So I might get quite a few. That's okay. If I have extras. Then I will just make extra. Get I get my other set of them ready. I was only expecting to get about 12 of them, which I still have more batter, which, so that just means I'm a happy woman. I'm going to move these out of the way so I can move the next batch over. Or I should say the next tray. These ones are a little thinner too than my other ones, so I am always worried that those are going to collapse on me, which is another reason why I like to put them in a cupcake mold. So far, I haven't had it happen, but that one time I assume it won't happen will be the time that it makes a gigantor mess. I'm trying to make sure I poured them all about even. Or as even as I can get eyeballing them. I 
I think I might just get all my bases done. That would be awesome. Or at least a good chunk of them. Yeah, I must not have used the full batch for just the bases the last time I made cupcakes. I must have did just half of it or a portion of it. Because I did not get anywhere near this many bases. When I made the hot cocoa ones, let me get these moved out of the way. The funny part is, is I need 35, and again, these are stained, not dirty. I need 35 is roughly what I calculated. Actually, that pretty much is just how many of the toppers that I have. This guy's only got about 20 kids besides herself in class, so the extra ones she'll have for teachers and friends, because like I said, she'll be the only one in school. who has these. So she's going to be Miss Popula. Populara, if you watch Monster High. Ooh, I'm so glad that face is gone because, man, I was so tired of them. They're the same. She had a couple of them on DVD and, man, she watched them babies until they were, like, no longer playing. I could s say most of the lines in my sleep. Just trying to scrape out my bowl so hopefully I have enough for these last ones okay Might need to be a little stingy on the bottoms for these next couple of them just so I can make it stretch. And then I can always even it out when I top them. Oh, I think it might be one short. Sorry for the arm. She has 34 to work with because it's certainly a lot more than she needs for her class. If I am not mixing up a full batch of soap just for one cupcake base. That would just be silly. All right, guys, that's step one, day one. I'll be back tomorrow. Start the first row of piping. See you then.